So the next fight is between a fan and Princess Leia. Fan wins. No one cares about either of these characters until fan starts banging Constipated Goth. Then we have Amy Lee versus Constipated Goth. Some bells come to watch the fight and it distracts Constipated Goth. So Amy Lee throws sewing needles at him and it lands right on his arm. And knowing that Hugh Jackman's getting old, Amy Lee tries out her Wolverine posing, hopefully getting the role. She then goes in for an absolute ballot, but when she bends back she hits her head off the wall killing her instantly. The next fight is between Furry and the double team of Gabe the Dog and Dog the Gabe. Gabe forgets to trim his toenails and side tackles Furry. Then Gabe asks Gabe when Gabe is going to release Half-Life 3, but Gabe gets pissed off at Gabe and snaps. So Gabe bites Gabe, but then they realise they've got more in common than they first cared to admit. And they become acrobats. Then they transform into dildos and do a little twirl. This somehow temporarily breaks the fabric of space time and turns the show into an intro theme slide shot. Furry takes a look at the Gabe dildo and think that looks pretty neat. So he points his ass at it. Gabe gets a sniff of Naruto's breakfast and it kills him. The hero of the show, the future Hokage, wins the preliminary exam with a nice warm fart. Next up we have Mia and Chinstrap. They both turn on their Bakugan and Chinstrap touches his cousin's boob. He wins now that she needs therapy. Now it's time for the fight that everyone's waited for that nobody could see being the best fight in the goddamn show. And it's Albino and Broccoli. It looks like Broccoli's in trouble until he becomes a terrorist. His mum thinks he's the bomb so he tries to use that to his advantage. He manages to introduce his opponent to the ground but they crack under pressure. Albino thinks it's pure shite to become a terrorist to win a fight, so he just wrecks Broccoli's shit and chases him back into Broccoli with the power of cripple no jutsu. And after all that, nearly every ninja under the age of 13 has been hospitalised and Furry is the only one that can be arsed doing anything. Pirate Ninja Senpai thought he would get a vacation, so he trades Furry in for a pack of cigarettes to White Morpheus. Luckily, a guy sitting on a frog eats White Morpheus and Furry decides he wants a frog too. Little do they know, Furry is about to make a friendship that will last forever or for like 400 more episodes. But that's a story for next time. Hey guys, I've got some exciting news. I've just commissioned some art and we're going to be making a very limited run Badly explained spa media shirts. I do believe there's only going to be 10 made ever, so if you want to grab some, I'm going to run it like a competition. Basically, those who are subscribed to me, those who are most active in the channel, people I recognise on streams, the giveaway shirts are going to go to them because it's a celebration of hitting 250 subscribers and I really want to give it to the people that helped me reach that goal. I'm just going to work it like a point system. If you're an old school fan, just feel free to comment on this video. And if you're new here, don't feel shy. You're just as welcome to try and win a shirt. But I'll see you guys next time.